What is going on everyone? It is Kira the Barber here and we have a transformation for you people. Now we see Jed go from like, I don't really know, Jed's just looking rough and we need to help him. So guys, watch my video, check out the start. I know you're going to not like the start because I mean I see Jed's hair all over the place. But just wait for that finished product. We're going to transform, transform him because it is Transformation Tuesday, people. And as always, we are going to transform Jed up, make him look beautiful as he can. So yeah, guys, while you're here, I'm going to give you at least 10 seconds. I'm going to sit here, silence. Subscribe button. Subscribe to me. You, Come on, man. You've got like 10 seconds. Okay, cool. So, right, make sure you hit the sub, smash my like button, let's, let's try and get at least 1k likes on this video because I've really tried hard to transform Jed and it was hard, trust me, it was hard. <laughs> um, smash my like button, enjoy the video. Let me know what you wanna see. If, again, if you wanna be featured on Transformation Tuesday, send me a direct message, get you in the shop, we'll do you some decent, decent trims. Guys, enjoy the video. What is going on everyone? It's your boy Kieran the Barber here. Today on Jed, we're gonna be doing a complete transformation because he's grown his hair out, bless him. He looks terrible. No one wants to even speak to him at the minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this boy looking nice and fresh. And we're going to do a, a skin fade with a texturized top. We're going to real, real texturize that. Make that blonde in his fringe really, really stand out. So we start off with the Andis Slimline Pro Allies. Now to get that shape in, you use halfway between the sideburn and halfway between the temple. And then you use the curvature of the ear and you come down slightly. From that I use my Slimline Pro Allies and I just remove bulk. Now using my Andis full shavers, I'm literally just taking that hair as short as it can go. We like to call it a skull fade because it gets it right down to the skull. Smooth, smooth as bar. I absolutely love this tool, it is awesome. So going all different directions, up, down, left, right. And just make sure you clear everywhere. Now using my number two with a magnetic guard, I'm just flicking to remove bulk to make sure that I've got a clear path to where I'm fading.
from there I use my zero and as you can use I'm using the C motion technique which is almost drawing the letter C with your clippers it's really really simple technique um, and what that does is when you're fading it brings the curvature of the clipper what it does is that takes then it gives you a slight sort of advantage in your fading because it removes um, a slight hair creating a fade so when you blend up on the number one or you blend up with clipper over comb it makes it a hell of a lot easier Now I'm going to flick between a half and a zero. So I'll start off on my zero guide and then what I'll do is I will work my way with a half as well. So I'm going to be flicking through both. And always make sure you've got that fade brush to rub away excess hair. Honestly I don't know what I'd do without my fade brush. Because sometimes you keep going over something and going over something you actually realise that it's hair that you actually already taken off. So if you've got that fade brush to remove, but to remove the hair, it makes your life so much easier. Now with clipper over comb, with my white and disc comb, as you can see I'm using my slim lines, just because my slim line has a wide tooth on it so it does pick up the hair and it takes anything off of it and get right in there as well. A fact about the Andis clipper comb, it is the equivalent of a number one guard. So as long as you're using that upright, as you can see I'm constantly using that at a 90 degree angle. So I'm making sure when I cut Jed's hair, the fade is constantly um, 90 degrees to give it its best fade.
So I've come halfway around the hair. Now what I want you to do is follow the exact same steps on the opposite side of the hair. Now I'm just going to run this through and fast forward. So watch, learn and enjoy. So I have some awesome, awesome, awesome new scissors. They're the um, Kenshi Evolution. The Kenshi Evolution um, scissors. Now, I honestly, they're so, so sharp. I got six inches because my last pair of scissors were seven and I just found they were a little bit too big. Um, especially because I want to do some I detail chipping in and stuff and I found that my hand was right in the air on my seven inches but with six it just makes the life so much easier they're beautiful they feel comfortable and as you can see that I'll show you when I chip in oh it's just amazing what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description below for you to check out their um, available scissors. But if you would go on my recommendation, I would definitely say the Kenshi Evolution scissors, the one in the picture right there. So the one with the blue tightener, that's what I would call it, it tightens the scissors. Yeah, I will whack the link in the below.
as always, my blue beard's revenge. I don't know where I'd be without this cutthroat. I just, I think I'd be cutting people and slicing people. I wouldn't have any customers to say the least. <laughs> as you can see, I'm using it at about a 45 degree angle, stretching that skin. Always make sure that skin is stretched. I do apologize that I'm not wearing gloves. Um, I don't tend to wear gloves when I'm shaving just around the edges. I do wear gloves when I'm more shaving faces and stuff. Now for the finished product to finish Jed's final look off to get the most out of his texture. As always, I'm gonna be using the Johnny's Chop Shop Trigger Happy Texturizing Spray. I'm gonna massage that right into the hair, making sure it gets right down to the root before I blow dry that all in. And then afterwards, I'm gonna be using the Wildcat Hair Clay to finish off to get some separation and some disconnection and to really show off this texture. I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of this video. I'm gonna shut up now. So guys, thank you for watching. Um, watch obviously till the end. <laughs> but yeah, peace out. So guys, I have 20 seconds to tell you things that you may not know about me. Um, fact, I used to be a professional wrestler. I did it for nine years. I wrestled under the name Dr. Loco. Search it up on YouTube if you don't believe me. Um, yeah, so I used to wear spandex and all myself up. Peace out, people!